Hello Capricorn, I'm Danielle Stimson of Learn Reiki Philadelphia and these are your cards for March of 2023. I highly recommend checking out the videos for your sun, moon, and rising signs if you happen to know all three. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what the cards have in store for you. All right, so we're going to get things started off with right out of the gate, Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn sun, so I get it. You are the workhorse of the Zodiac, and this is the month to just give into that, lean into that. <laughs> the card at the focus of your month is the Magician. This is the making shit happen kind of card for you. Uh, he literally has each of the suits that we see in front of him. He knows how to make them work. He knows how to make them happen. This is your opportunity to do all the things you've been working on up until now and kind of create that focus that you've had, that create that future that you've wanted. This is the month to just put all of your energy into that without anything else distracting you. And there will be distractions for sure. How are you entering the month with very Queen of Swords energy? Queen of Swords, she's very analytical. She's very okay, how do I do this? What's the best way to do this? How do I organize all of the pieces? Uh, this is what you've been doing up until now. You've been very meticulously putting things in order, figuring out the best way to go. That has set you up for the place that you are in now. What's the challenge for this month? It's the three of swords, which is the heartache, heartbreak, cheat and heart kind of card. This is kind of things coming from out of left field. It could be anything. This is usually seen as like the cheating card in relationships because it's, as you can see, you know, but really the suit of swords is all about mental, the mind and logical acuity. This card can get a little bit more heart centered as you can see, but it's all about, uh, what could be people having done you wrong. It could be about betrayal. It also could be about leaving things behind that kind of hurt to leave behind and making those shifts. I can say that, yes, this is a challenge, but it's not insurmountable by any means. For some of you, this may be something new. And for some of you, you may be kind of are finding that you're getting held back by heartache and betrayal past. So maybe moving through that and into your next chapter. Uh, how best to move forward this is the five of cups. Uh, if you're coming out of something like a three of swords, which is very much what it looks like, a bunch of just heartache, heartbreak, this is a card of Yes, milk has been spilled, in this case, wine. It's even worse. <laughs> uh, we have here, though, he is not out of cups. There's five. Three of them have spilled. But what he's failing to notice is that these two that he has, it's it's sort of the, the don't cry over spilled milk card. This would suggest not to put too much focus on what you're leaving behind. I know as a Capricorn son, we can be really... Uh, a lot of us, depending on what else you have in your chart, pretty quick to kind of like push things down and focus on work. Normally I'm like, mm, is that really the best thing to do in this month? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Given to that Capricorn sensibility, it's okay to grieve and stop and cry if you need to, don't get distracted, but also focus on what you do have going with you. These are the two that you really need moving forward. Try not to get too stuck in wallowing. You know, yes, there will be loss, but don't get stuck in wallowing. And the whispers from your guides, if your guides could kind of pass you a, a, a little note of a little piece of what you could look forward to, how you could make the most of this, what's the best thing to do, what else you might not know about, you get the eight of rods, which is why I say this is absolutely not the month to get too wallowed down in emotions or even uh, too much into the thinking through every nitty gritty thing. The eight of rods is all about things that are already in motion. There's already so much momentum behind you that you almost couldn't stop if you tried. You'd like trip on your own two feet. 
And what I mean by that is this, remember, we came into this month starting out with that Queen of Swords. You've been very methodical and you have been seeing the bigger picture, but I don't know that you, we are seeing how close we are to kind of that tipping point of where we want to be. And definitely to go ahead and embody that magician we saw at the beginning, this Eight of Rods is saying, don't get too caught up in the distractions, the heartache, the heartbreak, the betrayal, or the people doing things that maybe you're not so thrilled with, or even just these matters of the heart. Now is the time to kind of do the Capricorn thing and kind of tune it out a little bit. Focus on what's most important to you and don't get pulled off track because you've got some really beautiful opportunities to make things happen that you've been working at for a really long time. So on the 7th, we have a full moon. We also have Saturn going into Pisces. This closes the three-year chapter that began basically when the lockdown started in the U.S. when it first went into Aquarius. So this is a coming full circle. Those issues in that broken heart card may be of anything that's happened in between that you're kind of leaving behind. So keep that in mind. But the most important thing is to keep your eyes on the prize. Go ahead and be that magician. Work your magic. Go ahead and embrace that workhorse of the zodiac that you know that you are because you have some really beautiful things to look forward to as the year continues. So all the best to you, Capricorn, and me as well. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. You can find me on YouTube at Learn Reiki Philadelphia and on TikTok at Learn Reiki. It's been an honor and a blessing hanging out with you. To learn more about me and my online Reiki certifications, visit LearnReikiPhiladelphia.com. And I hope to see you again next month for your April cards. Take care, have a beautiful month, and bye for now.